All right. I want to cast a spell. Last time on Unforgotten Realms, I got stuck with my stupid friend Mike playing some ripoff version of World of Dungeon Craft or something. When out of nowhere, Mike just goes throws a fireball all crazy like and hits this guy right in the face. See that again? Right in the face! Ow! Damn! Anyway, so now we're like stuck in front of Judge Judy or something, which sucks. The last place I want to end up with Mike is in a prison. When we last left our heroes, they had found the location of the magical herb for Snoopy's dying grandmother. She's not dying. She's dead. Huh. <gasps> Search for traps, Pookie? Ugh. Unfortunately, our heroes had also gotten themselves in a bit of trouble with the law as well. A bit of trouble? Mike, we're on death row here. Silence, Lumberjack! Normally, under these circumstances, the ones of which I speak of course being the murder of a local NPC, the guilty would be sent to death! Damn circumstances! However, because nobody really liked that local NPC since he only really said one thing over and over and over and over and over and over... Press B to jump! Press B to jump! Press B to jump! Steven, I'm sorry it's over. Press B to jump! I will instead punish you two by means of DANGEROUS QUEST! On a scale from 1 to dangerous, dangerous being high and not so dangerous being low, how much danger are we really looking at here? About a 6. Damn. That's dangerous. What is this quest you speak of, your honor? There is a powerful enchantress in this town by the name of Madam... Powerful Enchantress of this town. Seek her out, and all will be revealed! You got it, Mr. Judge. We won't let you down. Fantastic! You have till the end of said time before I cut off your heads. Ha 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 No, seriously, get moving. Madam Powerful Enchantress of this town, and she's- Wait, where did you get that? What? This pizza? I used our gold, cause I was hungry. No, I mean that. What? This pizza? I used your wallet, cause I was hungry. You idiot! Anyway, Madam Powerful Enchantress has enchanted this axe, and has entrusted us to deliver it to a guard across the bridge to the east. Wow, sweet quest, Mike! A delivery quest! How original. Where are you going? I'm gonna just go look this up on the internet. Oh, shut up and let's just get going. Uh, okay, but I'm carrying the axe. Our heroes travel east, where, just inside the village, they encounter a beggar who looks like he's been starved to the bone. The beggar asks if the heroes could spare any food. We're under attack! We're not under attack, you idiot. Just listen to the music, Mike. That clearly means this is a random encounter. It's not a battle, it's just an old beggar. That's what he wants you to think, Mike. Just look at the monocle. He's clearly a powerful wizard. For crying out loud, you just threw that monocle on a second ago, Rob! Alright. I want to cast a spell. Wow. Okay, you know you can only cast a certain amount of spells per day, right? Yes. And I'm going to cast Flare right in front of this beggar. You cast Flare, blinding the poor innocent old beggar. The beggar stumbles around confused and blinded. Alright. Now I attack him with my nutchucks! What? Why? He's just an old beggar! An old beggar is still worth some XP, Mike. This is why you suck at video games. God, client, roll! 10 and 13. 
Negative four for exotic weapon. Negative four for dual wield. And negative eight for offhand. That gives you two and one. Uh, did I hit him? Did you hit the defenseless old beggar who you blinded? Sure, you did. Feel the wrath of Canadian lumber, fool! Ha! You killed the old beggar. Ha! Fatality, bitch. Nail looks at Smoopy in disgust and tells him that we better get out of here before they get arrested yet again. Hold on. I want to loot his body. The man is freaking naked, Rob. I loot his body. You find nothing of value. What about his little, uh, crotch thingy? You're going to take what little dignity this poor man has by leaving him naked in the street? He's dead. It would just go to waste. Wow, fine. You find some old beggar's clothes. That's not how you do it. You find some beggar's clothes! Ugh, idiot. Our adventurers start to head down the trail to the southeast when they are confronted with a very undead diorette who doesn't look too friendly. Doesn't look friendly my ass, can we keep it? Wait, wait a second. So you kill the poor innocent old beggar, but the rat who wants to eat your face off you want as a pet? But look, he's so friendly! Don't touch it you idiot, it's poisonous! Now you have to roll to see if you're poisoned. What? No, screw that! Roll! Oh lame, a three. The rat's minor and venom infects Snoopy after touching the rat. Bullshit! Screw this game! You idiot, don't throw it at me. It, uh, wasn't me. The poison made me do it. What? The poison didn't make you throw the rat at me, you moron. Ow! Poison. God! Elliot splashed Snoopy with the holy water he was carrying. What the hell did you do that for? Uh, you mean cure the poison so you don't fall over dead? Dude! That poison turned me green! It was so worth keeping rather than using up my holy water! God, idiot! The two heroes head eastward when they come across a broken down carriage with no one in sight. Alright. I wanna cast a spell. Oh please, go right ahead. Schmoopy cast flare right at the garage. Um... Okay, the bolt of light hits the carriage but nothing seems to really occur from this. What? Isn't it blinded? It's a carriage, Rob! Do you know what the carriage is? Um, Obviously not? The thing the horses pull, Rob! A carriage! Oh, shoot. Well, in that case, I wanna cast a spell. Fine. Okay, I cast Flare. You just casted Flare! Yeah, but this time, I'm casting it at you. What? Why?! So I can go loot the garage while you're blinded, duh. Fine, you greedy jerk! Ellie just is blinded from the second flare Smoopy cast and starts yelling hurtful curse words at his ill-mannered partner. All right, I search the garage. Carriage. Garage, garage, carriage? Is it with a K, garage? I search the garage. So Smoopy searches the carriage and finds a bag of 12 coins, some rope, three torches, a can of oil, a tent, tent, and flinder. Oh, how goddamn convenient. Okay, I also want to take this wheel. What? Why do you want a battered and broken carriage wheel? So I can use it as a shield! You can't use a wheel as a shield, asshole! I can use whatever I want as a shield, dickwad. Fine. Shmoopy picks up a large wooden wheel. It provides an armor class bonus of zero! Well, at least it's better than nothing. Can we get going now? On second thought, I want to take two wheels. What? Why? So I can dual wield shields! That's like double the armor class! Wow. Dual wield shields! You are a complete idiot, but if you want to carry those around with you, I'm not going to stop you! And you know why that is, Mike? Why? I cast flare! Oh god! Uh, our heroes finally come up to the forest. The tree's leaves have fallen off most of the branches, and a dark and gloomy aura presents itself around it. I got a bad feeling about this, Mike. Oh, come on, it's not that scary. Is the great Sir Snoopy of Washington really scared of a dark and gloomy forest? Does he want his mommy to hold his hand? Well, I wouldn't mind it since, you know, my mom's a lawyer and all. What? Oh. Don't worry, Mike. I'm sure there'll be no serious repercussions to my rash acts. Guilty! Rats. Does the defense have any closing statements? Closing statements? The trial's just started. In fact, the second we got in here, you just yelled guilty. I did? Oh, that doesn't quite seem fair. Oh, okay. Does the defense have any opening statements? No, but we have a closing statement. Go on. Well, your honor, you see- Guilty! 
Obviously, you lumberjacks are much more dangerous than I first thought, and a simple semi-dangerous delivery quest is not a severe enough penalty for you. For the last time, I'm not a lumberjack, I'm a wizard! Oh really? Then where is your monocle, Mr. Harry Potter? I hereby declare that the defense be forced to pay 100,000 golden pieces of gold to the kingdom of Cotswell. Royal Warlock, apply the official curse of 100,000 gold curse. You have one month to pay said debt of 100,000 gold pieces of gold, or this magical curse will explode, blowing each of you into one million pieces. What the crap? This judge is a total idiot, Mike. What was that? Royal Warlock, apply the second curse. As an extra penalty to you, Sir Smoopy, should you ever insult my honorable name again, you will explode into a billion pieces. Wait a second, what's the difference between exploding into a billion pieces instead of a million pieces? Is exploding is exploding. About 999,999, Mike. Duh. Will Sir Shmoopy and Are You Must Halo ever be able to raise the money in time before it's too late? What secrets could this new yet mysterious companion be holding for our heroes? I named him Petey. Will Rob be able to mind his tongue for at least a couple episodes? Find out in the next exciting episode of Unforgotten Realm! Man, Mike, this judge is a total dick. Oh god, hit the deck! <laughs>